All right, so we are heading out to Moonbrook. Yes, I am. So, Legend of Stalvin, kind of a creepy quest if you actually read everything about it. Uh, we, we've read it multiple times. We're just going to go do the quests, turn it in. But um, let's get all our buffs. Oh, I'm out of firepower. Shoot. All right, we've got to go this way to the schoolhouse. And then from the schoolhouse, I think to Stormwind. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, we've got our remove curse properly keybound. Ugh, I got sheeped. Alrighty. No reason to join a group for that quest because... Do we have to go back to Darkshire? We do. Uh, no reason to be in a group for that quest because... Um, it's an item you pick up. I'm going to kill the messenger. Again. Just like I did last time. So that uh, anybody who might have to do the quest... We'll be able to get him to respawn. So that Banshee was level 26, I believe, which means I don't think it's going to get much harder than this. I can probably solo Stalvin. I think he's level 28 or 29. We'll have to take a look. should really pick up some more firepower once I get to Stormwind. I have to go there anyway for this quest, so I will do that when I teleport teleport in there. I have... Okay, good. I have three runes of teleportation. That's plenty. These are still a little too high level. Worgen in the Woods is probably doable, but I want to be able to do the follow-up to that quest right away as well, so I'm, I'll wait until I do the Red Ridge Mountains quest. If for no other reason, I don't want to completely out-level Red Ridge so that the quests are gray. They're green right now, the ones that I want to do. They're level 23. If I get to level 27, I don't think they be I think they become gray at 28. Not sure. Either way, I want to get to Red Ridge Mountains and do those quests. Oh, 
Wow. Thought I could make that jump. Alright, what do you got for follow-up on me? Uh, Legend of Stalvin, still 28. Lion's Pride in, so we've got to run to Lion's Pride. That is the quickest way to get there. Blank working as intended. Perfect. Ah, uh, blank, seriously. All right, there is a level twenty seven Nightbane. Hey, a Shadow Weaver. I need you. Uh, looks like they go together, so we'll just we'll leave him alone. There will be plenty of time to kill them all the way down here. Oh. Well, thanks. Blink, seriously. That's like three times in a row. What, was there a blade of grass that was blocking line of sight to where I wanted to blink to? My gosh. Oh, these are level 19 now. That's funny. Hey, Blink actually worked. Look at that. It's a miracle. Level 10 Murloc. Oh, you know what? I should tr I should try to kill some Defias on the way, see if that quest item finally drops. because I did not get it when I was questing here, unfortunately. Try as I might, despite all of the extra mobs that I killed, never dropped. Any of you guys gonna have it? Nope. Oh wow, that took all my mana. That's hilarious. I think the guys on this dock respawn really fast. I could probably just keep farming these guys until it drops. Hey, look! <laughs> I got it. Nice. That's awesome. Just that extra little bit of experience. I'm actually going to go turn that in now, since I'm all the way down here. It'll probably give me, what, like a thousand experience? I'll take it.
All right, we are almost there. All of this for a thousand experience. At best, it's probably going to be less than that, honestly. But hey, we got her done. You need something? Yeah, <laughs> 84 experience. That's funny. Let me look at Eastern Kingdoms, Elwyn Forest. Is there. Oh, the collector. Old pickup schedule. I think that drops from these guys. Pretty sure it's all of the gnolls, uh, or the whatever they are. Let's check the internet. What does it say here? It doesn't say who drops it. But... Yeah, Outrunners and runs which is what all of these guys are so another one of those quests that we're just not going to get done unfortunately oh my goodness <laughs> okay uh that's lucky that's awesome um I'll take it. Just on a whim, kill one random outlaw or outrunner, and he's got the quest item. That's insanity. That is pure insanity. Well, we're going to do that quest. Um... Not quite sure if there's anything else, if we just got to talk to the guy in Goldshire and then go out there or what, but we'll find out. Here's quest number one. Help. Go with honor. And what does he want me to do? Oh, I didn't auto accept that quest, did I? Because it's a low level you. quest. Light bless you. And yeah, all the way down there to the collector's ring. Definitely gonna do it. What can I do for you? Alright, now we gotta go upstairs. Open the chest. Right there. Oh. Alright. Where do we take the undelivered letter? Stormwind. Perfect. Okay, so before we do that, we're gonna go do the collector's ring. And then, ooh, 13 gold. I'll take it. And then from that, we can um, teleport to Stormwind. Nice and easy, nice and quick. Is this the last quest in the zone? It is. This will be the last thing to do in this zone. I will have 100 percented Elwyn Forest. Nice. Like that.
Actually, you know what? I probably can't teleport to Stormwind because first I will have to um, run back to Goldshire to turn the quest in. Derp. That's okay. It's only five minutes. Soon we'll have a mount and stuff like this will just fly by. What did I get for Legend of Stalvin was 805 experience. The collector was 28 experience. It's the completion fun that is the reason we're doing it. Let's see if he's going to do princess. If he is, he's not. Is this hardcore? Yes. Alright, very easy quest when you're when you out level by fifteen levels. So now we have to go, yep, back to Goldshire. That's all right. And from Goldshire, we will teleport. Let's run straight that way. Is this Vanilla WoW? It is. Season of Mastery. Uh, it is not a single player game. It's, a, it's an MMO. A lot of the quests in the early zones are definitely solo play. But there are a ton of group quests, a ton of elite quests, a ton of dungeons, a ton of dungeon quests, quite a few raids. Uh, Vanilla WoW, Burning Crusade. Once you get to endgame, you cannot solo it at all. There's really nothing you can solo in endgame content aside from quests. There's no LFR. There's no looking for dungeon. Well, there is, but it's not quite the same. No queue system. I suppose the one thing you can solo is PvP. You just queue for PvP and join a random battleground. Other than that, gotta be in a group or a raid. I still cannot believe I got that quest item from the the single mob I killed right away the first time, first try. And how many of those guys have I already killed? Like 15, 20 or more? Never dropped? That is funny. I'll take it. I played it two some years ago on private servers. Nice. Um, now you can play it on an actual real Blizzard server without fear that it's going to go away or get shut down or your character's going to get screwed up or all the crazy stuff that happened on private servers. It's a well-oiled machine. What can I do for you? For the there still are bots, unfortunately. And they ban them in waves over time, but it's nothing like the nonsense that was going on for... Uh, private servers. Can't remember if I picked up all of my stuff last time I hit a level. I am listening. I did. All right, so Stalvin is up in the uh, Mage Quarter in the Canal District. So let's go there. What can I do for you? 
All right, we still have all our buffs. Yep. Interrupt the polymorph. Get rid of the curse of Stalvin. And we're good. Now we have to return to uh, Cottage near East Vale logging camp in Elwyn close to Red Ridge Mountains. We've got to go to East Vale. Oh my god. Uh, we will fly to Lakeshire and then run to turn this quest in. Way more time efficient. I do want to check Elixir of Firepower, though. Pick up a couple of pick up a couple of those since I'm out. Looks for firepower. Just oh, we'll, we'll get four. They're cheap enough. Go. The reason I want to do the rest of the Legend of Stalvin quest is because... Oh, I'm almost level 27. I want to get max XP for it. I don't think these are going to turn gray when I hit 27, though. Because I'm level 26, and this level 21 quest is still green, so I've got... I've got a couple more levels before those go away, so I feel okay. Looks like there's some recipes to buy. Okay, well, I'll do that later. I don't need them now. What's up, ghost? Did you see that there's new music whenever you change zones in Classic WoW now? It should come up right now. We're... Music team is on point. It's so nice just being able to run through here without really caring. The Shadow Maws or Shadow Paws, whatever they are down here, what are they? Shadow Hides. They're going to be really easy to kill, which is good. Well, I'm never going to die, so that weak aura would be useless to me. 
And I actually don't have weak auras installed on retail. I remember when uh, weak auras were relatively new, and somebody had a weak aura that they shared, and it went around all over the place that when you imported it and ran it, it deleted all of your gold. That was an interesting time to be in trade chat. Alright, so he is right here. Well met. Now I gotta go in here. Go upstairs. This dude left his creepy stuff all over the place. Oh no, I interrupted the wrong thing. That's right, they're going to attack me and all will be fine. Stop cursing me, jeez. This, I think, takes me back to Darkshire. Honor, friend. Tavern Keep Smiths. That is indeed in Darkshire. So, what's the fastest way to Darkshire? Running or Griffin running? What's my hearth at? We'll just use my hearth. Save a little bit of time. Green. That is why, right there. Later. All right, take the muddy page to Commander Ebenlock. You are right out here. Need help? Farewell. And now, Clerk Daltry. And now back to <laughs> uh, okay. Ebenlock. And now, finally, level 35. What? Um. Okay. This will be interesting. I thought he was like level 29 or 30. Maybe he's level 32. Let's go look. All right, so the corpse is level 30. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, wow. I didn't get a resist, and I got a frostbite. That is pretty stinking lucky. Another frostbite. What is this nonsense? can't target him yet, but I should be able to shortly. I just want to get into range first. We've got to resupply all our buffs. Oh, he's not in there. Okay. Um, weird. Oh, wait. Uh, you have to spawn him. That's right. I'm struggling to figure out why I'm able to hit these guys that are four levels higher than I am.
Actually, hold on. If he's not in there... Oh, I think he spawned... Oh, that's right. Okay, shoot. Oh, well. I thought the item to loot the ring was in there. But it's not. There's a couple of resists. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that was a tree. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he's level 32. I just can't figure out why he hasn't spawned. Not a single resist on that guy. That's crazy. Turkey Istanbul. Awesome. That is so cool. Uh, why is everybody excited? Uh, because it's change that is desperately needed for the company that is currently in a PR nightmare and a tailspin of development. And Microsoft has the ability to fix that. Doesn't mean they will, but they have the ability. So this guy is level 32. I think we can do it. Doubt it. We're just going to run away. So we'll have to come back and do Stalvin when we're higher level. For some reason, I thought that he was a level 30, not a level 32. So make the game free on Xbox Game Pass or something. Um, That wouldn't be a terrible thing. But if you break it down financially, I don't know what it what it costs for a game pass. My my guess is it's like what five bucks a month, ten bucks a month. But I don't I don't even know what it is. Um, they bought Activision Blizzard in an all cash deal for about seventy billion dollars. What can I do for you? See you around. We don't really know how many people are currently subscribed to World of Warcraft or how much money they're bringing in per month on subscription fees. What I do know is that they are paying millions and millions and millions of dollars in server costs and server maintenance and networking maintenance and IT infrastructure and IT engineers and all that stuff. That costs a lot of money. A lot. So for them to make WoW free to play or to merge it into their Game Pass, which is not the cost of a subscription, which would essentially mean they are taking on Activision Blizzard in an all cash deal, which means they are absorbing Blizzard's profit and loss statement. Uh, that means that they are absorbing the debt associated with that profit and loss statement. So debt that Blizzard currently has. The, the amount of costs that it takes to run World of Warcraft, which is substantial. Uh, just the, the server side. I'm not talking about development or new expansion creation or anything. I'm, I'm talking about the 
the workings of the servers and the data centers and all that stuff. That, that's all on their profit and loss statement as a cost um, or a debt goes against their profits. If Microsoft decides to make this free to play, they have nothing to offset the costs of running this game, which means World of Warcraft then automatically becomes a net loser on their profit and loss statement, which you would never, ever, ever do when you're acquiring a company. It's not like they can write off those costs on Microsoft Gaming's profit and loss statement because the company is separate. So they have to, they're still going to maintain their own profit and loss statement. They're still going to have to maintain their own income on their separate balance sheets. And for a company to essentially, I mean, let's just make up numbers. Let's pretend that the data engineering server side cost to run World of Warcraft is $2 million a month. That's not actually unreasonable, but it's probably low, honestly. And let's just say that the subscriptions that they're getting are $10 million a month. Like, everything the game is doing is $10 million a month. Uh, what they would essentially be doing is... And I, I guarantee you the, the numbers are not that different. They're, they're probably more close to equal than anything else. Um, so let's just say that it's $2 million in cost and $3 million in income. If they got rid of the income from the subscriptions, uh, what a way to hit level 27, they would essentially be turning World of Warcraft from a $1 million profit to a loss on their balance sheet, meaning it's not a sustainable game to use. I mean, there's a reason this game still has a subscription. It's not because Blizzard is trying to bilk all of its customers. And quite frankly, it's why a lot of other MMOs fail. They don't have the capacity and the infrastructure and the engineering team in place to support a huge player base. New World is kind of an exception, but who owns New World? Amazon. Amazon is like 40% of the cloud computing space in the world. And a majority of that game is housed on the cloud, so it's no surprise that they can sustain an MMO. Even though I think that that MMO is terrible, they can still sustain it, and they will. But other startup companies, they don't have the resources to even come close to what is required to run a massive, massive global operation like WoW. Oh, did I not pick up Fangor? No. I gotta do that. I walked all the way out here for nothing. Ugh. Like, I li it was literally on my th list of things to do, and I completely forget. I completely spaced on it. Uh, well, I got a talent point to use anyway. Arctic Reach. Wow, the Black Rocks are level 20. That feels good. Best MMO as well, I agree. And New World, I tried it, and I, I hated it. Like, I literally, literally hated it. Um, the combat system is terrible. I was just a, a melee class. The mouse is always active to the screen. So when I move my mouse, like right now, when I move my mouse, I'm moving the cursor on the screen, and nothing's happening in my character but in new world whenever you do your whenever you move your mouse your screen does this <laughs> like every time you move your mouse and that is just no how they decided to go with that ui is beyond me it makes zero sense because it is so terrible Retail is kind of a different animal. Um, it is... It's it's difficult if you want to play the difficulty. Other than that, it's just kind of a solo experience. And by wanting the difficulty, I mean pushing mythic keys, pushing mythic dungeons, um, pushing mythic raids. 
things like that. There, there are ways that that game is incredibly difficult, takes an incredible amount of skill and preparation and teamwork. And then there is a lot of ways that that game is just kind of a mindless, you know, head mashing the keyboard solo grind. Okay. Look, we got the Fangor quest now. We can do it. Um, I'm missing a couple quests. Let's... I'm going to do a reload. Missed a couple of episodes, but I'm glad to see that there have been no Warlock shenanigans. None yet. No Warlock shenanigans yet. That's exactly it. Uh, waiting for the dumbest person in your group not to screw up. And... Uh, What's doubly bad about that is especially when you're running Mythic Keys, they're timed. And the purpose of running a Mythic Key is to get it done within the timer so that you get that extra piece of loot, you get the extra ball, all the good stuff. You have one person in your group that just like brain farts for 10 seconds and pulls an extra pack and wipes you. And then your tank rage quits because you died and he doesn't think you're going to make the timer anymore. Or just stupid stuff like that. Get really, really tiresome after a while. I'm actually going to go this way first and we're going to kill Yowler. Because I have Howling in the Hills. Classic and TBC is better for solo players. Just go to the adventure and level up. Um, yes and no. The difference being that, um, is Fangor here or is he the next, he's the next one? Uh, the difference is that you can't solo end game content at all in TBC or Classic because you, you have to be in a group for it. There's just literally not much you can do. And it looks like he's doing Yowler too. All right, so we've got level 21s. He's gonna be dead. This guy's gonna be dead. I will wait. Uh, Cone of Cold doing his thing. Cool. Yowler's dead. Alright, so back... Oh, we're going the wrong way. We gotta go way to the east. Just level another character and go PvP. I was arms where TBC was like hell for me because no kills. Um, if you like to PvP, I do not. I, I hate PvP. Um, I was in a highly ranked guild in TBC, and it was the best fun I'd ever had in the game, ever. Uh, Burning Crusade, raiding, and dungeons were just some of the best the game has ever seen. So we have the Watchful Eye quest, and this, um, where is it? Ur's Treatise on Shadow Magic. There's an elite mob in there, but I think I can get the treatise without actually having to kill him. So I should be able to do that quest. It really depends on what kind 
of guild you want to be in. There are sweaty tryhard spreadsheet guilds that they will not take you if you're not a certain spec and don't do certain things with consumables. And then there's other guilds that understand that the game was designed for you to beat it. You don't have to do all that sweaty try-hard spreadsheet stuff, and they will invite you because it's fun, and they just kind of like playing with you. Uh, look for that guild, because it'll be fine. Do I still raid? I don't. So now we're back to where we were ten minutes ago. I will mana up, dampen magic up, and we will start killing shadow hides. I need 10 pendants and then Fangor. Gills leave one spot for arms warrior. People are so, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, if you really tried hard enough, you would find a guild that doesn't care. Um, it's going to be harder to progress in a guild like that because that's how most people played it back in the day. So you're you know, at the mercy of your weakest player and your weakest players, but you'll still kill the content. You just won't do it the first week. What is this? Oh, already known. Oh, it is nice being able to just destroy these guys without really thinking about it. Not really concerned about patrols and whatnot, because I'm four levels higher than they are. This is great. Human warrior, play slow and level up. There you go. That's the dream. Dude, I've been playing this game for 17 years. You are preaching to the choir. Oh, come here. Oh, of course he's not in range. That was the long way around. Oh, respawn. Let's get an extra frost nova on him. Hey, our first pendant. I bet you Fangor's up, because there's nobody out here. I thought I was drinking. I wasn't. I must have been stuck in combat for like a half second when I hit my uh, keybind. Really? Level 25 resisting. Thanks, guys. Sleepy Cat, that name is familiar to me for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. That name is very familiar. Oh, well. There's Fangor. Whoa, no, 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 no. What happened there? How did this nonsense happen? Look at this. How did this happen? Seriously, what happened? Oh, he was so close. 
All right, let's try that again. I'm not sure how all of those guys got pulled, but man, that sucked. <sighs> let's reset them. Oh no, 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 no. Oh jeez, really? Uh, that, that was so weird. Let's try this again. Man, how did that ha even happen? There we go. We are getting out of here. Holy crap. So he must call for aid. That's what happened with the last one. He called for aid, and a bunch of people just started running out of nowhere to attack me. Of course. Is the leveling speed increase noticeable? Uh, yes and no. Uh, obviously, the, the quest reward experience is noticeable because it's a straight 40%. The problem is there's no corresponding level or XP increase for killing regular mobs. So what you what winds up happening is most of higher level questing has you kill a bunch of mobs and has you uh, do a bunch of RNG quests, and you're not getting extra experience for that. You're just killing you know 40 mobs and then turning in one quest. So. Net, it's probably 15 to 20 percent faster, not 40 percent. Leveling in the Burning Crusade uh, Classic is, def is definitely faster than this, or at the very least similar, because I think it's 40 through 60 is like 50 percent increase, and the amount of experience required to get a quest or uh, to level up in classic TBC is also significantly reduced, so. I'll just wait for him to come back. Perfect. All right, so for this quest, I know there's an elite way up top, but I think I can get the, the treatise without actually pulling him. Oh, just saw that you were taken out. Thanks, John. Catch you next time. All right, how many guys are in here? One, but there's probably another somewhere. Oh, nice frostbite. You're dead. Nothing? Nothing? All right. Okay, never mind. Was that a mana burn? That was mana burn. Wow, 195 mana burn. That is pure insanity. Alright, we're gonna get full mana, because holy crap. I'm not gonna loot him yet. 
because I think that might prevent him from respawning. We'll find out. All right, we can interrupt mana burn, thank goodness. So these are demons. I can't do anything about. Well, we'll just have to blow them up. Oh, we lucked out. Oh, he resisted my. Oh. He resisted my counter spell, so he burned all of my mana. That's all right. Got a mana potion if I absolutely need it. Fangor's Paw. Quest item, quest item, quest item. I might have to use these flash bundles a little more. I've got five of them. They do a little bit of damage, just enough to be useful. Yeah, of course. I hate when I get a frostbite just as I'm using Frost Nova. We're going to kill this guy, and then we'll do the uh, mana burn mob. Again, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. We'll go this way. Let's see if he tries to mana burn me. Nope. Did he resist counterspell again? He did. Man. <laughs> he had like one health and resisted my counterspell. Whatever. Oh, I'm about to lose all my buffs, so let's rebuff every. Buffs are back. We've got a patrol. So I think that the book is on the next level. Sweet, got him before he tried to do mana burn. And same with that guy. Okay, so now we gotta be super careful. 
Um, the elite guy is over there somewhere. So he's over there. The book that I need is right there. So we're going to do it this way. I've got a mana potion. Now I have evocation. And I'll have counterspell by the time he starts to cat. Oh, let's line aside him. Now I've got counterspell. Nice. Hey, we did it. And Morganth is 27 elite. All right, let's get this treatise. Okay. Um. Boy. Well, I've got to go down because I have to. I have to get all the shadow pendants anyway. So we've got to kill more things. So we can't just teleport out of here. Unfortunately, we've got more work to do. Up, dude. Let's get mana. I need four more pendants. And I've got a quest, an empty jar. For looking further. I don't think I can get up there unless I run into a group that's doing that quest. Get out of here. And four more pendants. Go. Oh, they're doing Morganth. Oh, I wish I could do that with them. All right, three more. I'm going to get away from this side of the map. Let's just single target these guys down. Oh, you are going after both of them. Two more. We'll run by that tower just in case, but I'm guessing that uh, nothing's going to come of it.
many people are in the zone tonight? Oh, wow. 40 people are in the zone. Or, no, I'm sorry. 11 people are in the zone. Oof, that's rough. I gotta get to max level. It's part of the problem with still being in a low-level zone a month into Season of Mastery. Everybody is max level doing their stuff. But not me. Frostbite. Let's see what this fireball does to him. Hit him for a good amount and ticking for five. Nice. And a disease. Hey, the last pendant. Nice. What is this? Familiar hide. Don't need it. So with there only being 11 people in the zone, I highly doubt that anybody is going to be doing the elite quests. Which means that tower is not going to be cleaned out. Which means I can't do it. Oh, yeah. Not a chance. Although, level 21 elites. Hmm. Let me try something here. This might be a stupid, stupid idea. Level 21. I've got to believe I can do something against a 21 elite. Let's find out. Doesn't this look like it's just been cleared out? Hold up. Alright, there's one patrol. Let's see what he does. I think I can kill him. Yeah, I can definitely kill him. Get a couple of lucky frostbites? Yeah, we're good. Nice. Okay, so he's dead. There's one other guy up there that's just patrolling. I can do this quest. Was not expecting this. King's Honor, indeed. Amazing. I don't even think I'm going to risk it with this guy. I can always just sheep him if, if I need to. But I don't think I need to. Oh, he's got a friend. Get full mana. Resheep.
<laughs> I did it. And now we're going to do this. See you. Bye. That is awesome. Got her done. Do I want to try to kill these Black Rock champions? Uh, not really. I'd like to wait until I'm a couple levels higher. Because if I if I have to do the escort quest myself, I want to make sure I'm like four or five levels higher than those guys. Right now, I'm just the same level as them, ish. God, I cannot believe that I completed that quest. Okay, there's 36 people online. How many do I need to kill of the Black Rocks? 15. Can I help you? Uh, is this an upgrade? No. My two rings are pretty good. I'll pick up the elite quest just so I have them in case somebody does them. That's what almost got Hello. me killed last time. Light be with you. Like it was real close. <laughs> 